What's up everyone? Welcome to Maths with Gustin. I am Gustin Mapala right here at Maths with Gustin. Today let's have a look at question 1 November 2021 uh, grade 12 maths paper 2. As we continue with our series on the past papers of grade 12 for paper 2 from November 2022 up until 2020. Okay, today's question, it was question 1 of a statistics question. Now let's go ahead and look at this one. It says, it says here a baker kept a record of number of number of souls bread bread a truck shop order daily over the last 18 days. The information is shown below. All right. Okay. We know that's the number of bread, number of loaves of bread. Okay. And then we've got questions there from 1.1. .1 up until 1.3 please uh, stay tuned until the end of this video so that you can also see a uh, question 1.3 which is a box and whisker diagram and i do know that uh, when it comes to that we all have challenges with that one though we'll be dealing with that one and we'll try to explain it thoroughly so right here we are going to use our conclusion to solve this question so please uh, uh, stay tuned while we apply uh, the use of the calculator here to make our life easy All right so i'm gonna go ahead display the calculator here and then we will deal with this question together the first thing that we need to do we need to make a data entry into our and to our calculator so that we can be able to deal with this data okay right guys i would suggest that you also have your calculator ready so that while i enter the data you also enter the data and make sure that you follow if you see that you're not getting it right it means you're doing something wrong so please rewind this video and double check where you made a mistake all right guys uh, here we go we have got our calculator here let me just uh, take it back we've got our calculator here first thing first we need to choose the statistics mode onto our calculator we do that by coming here saying mode and setup okay we would like to it to go to start and then stats here is option three so we're gonna come here select option three and then we choose the type of data that we have do we have x and y on our data no we don't therefore it's definitely not going to be number two but it's going to be just number one which is also the variance so we are gonna go ahead and select one option one which only shows one set of data right now we go ahead and then we're going to enter this data into our calculator okay we have got 10 uh, equal to we've got 11 equal to we've got 13 equal to 14 uh, equal to then another 14 equal to we got 16 there no 15 rather then we've got 16 as you can see guys the data is already rearranged from the lowest value to the highest value so they already done that for us we don't have to worry about that then we've got two 19s here and another 19 okay trying to keep it slow here guys no need to rush remember you are passing the data you are going to use this data to answer all the questions that follow afterwards so therefore you need to be very very cautious of what you're doing you wouldn't want to make a mistake right here at the beginning because if you do then everything will be wrong okay then we've got 37 we've got 40 and then we've also got 41 all right then i can just double check this data guys uh, i can just go through it we've got 41 there 40 37 35 235 so there we go 21 we should have 20 there 19 19 another 19 18 18 another 18 16 okay great 15 14 14 and then 13 and then 11 and then 10 all right i know guys it seems it's like um you're asking yourself why would i want to go around and check it again you know you would want to do this so that when you get out of that exam room you are definitely definitely sure of what you did you don't want to make a mistake on entry on data entry okay right great stuff so now we can move along and then answer questions because we have got everything in our data here and then the first question there it says um calculate the mean 
the mean number of loaves of bread ordered daily okay so to calculate the mean we are going to come here we need to look for the total sum divided by the total number of of orders all right therefore you go here we go we are going to come here and say shift okay statistics what are we looking for we are looking for the sum of all the data therefore here we have it sum x squared and sum x but we are looking for the just the sum of the data okay we are going to select option two where we just have to deal with the sum of the data is going to give us it's giving us 396 please note that down 396 okay so 396 needs to be divided by the number of terms or the number of a uh, days rather okay which in this case is going to be just 18 because they already told us here that it's over 18 days okay but let's go ahead just to confirm shift stats okay and then uh, the number of terms number of terms i think is here at variance where it says four we're going to choose option four there is n there referring to the number of terms is going to be option one therefore is equals to 18 so therefore we know that our data is correct and everything that we added there is definitely correct all right great stuff so now we need to move along they ask us for the standard deviation we're going to do the same thing shift we're going to come here statistics we're going to go here at the variance which is option four choose option four and therefore we know that standard deviation is given by o stroke x so it's option three in this case we're going to choose option three then equal to then our standard deviation is 10.17 so please note it down 10.17 all right great stuff so now question 1.1.3 question 1.1.3 um it says that uh, number of days on which the number of loaves of bread ordered was more than one standard deviation above the mean all right they love these questions a lot they will ask you one standard deviation above the mean or below the mean so in this case they are asking us one standard deviation above the mean so let's go ahead and then uh, write this down what we just found out from our data right now all right great stuff okay here we go okay our mean is going to be given by x dash is going to be mean we said our sum was a uh, 326 divided by number of days which is 18 and therefore our mean is approximately 22 okay and then our standard deviation from our calculator we did calculate the standard deviation it gave us a 10.17 all right so this was our standard division so therefore they said the number of days on which the number of loaves of bread ordered was more than one standard deviation above the mean one standard deviation above the mean simply means you need to add one of the standard deviation onto our mean all right so therefore this is going to be given to us by this our mean is what is 22 plus 10.17 which gives us which gives us uh, approximately 32.17 okay so now how many how many number of days okay on how many is the number of loaves of bread or that greater than that's basically what they are asking you and they said above so how many from the data that was collected how many numbers are greater than 32.17 so uh, we have got one here which is 35 is greater we've got another 35 we've got another 37 we've got uh, 40 we've got 41 so how many how many of these numbers is five numbers so in on five days the standard deviation of the loaves uh, was one standard deviation above the mean so the number of loaves of bread ordered or on five days it was above 32.17 that's basically what it means guys okay please don't get confused if you've got more questions please drop them on the comment section below so that uh, we understand this um uh, one standard deviation below the mean and above the mean sometimes they will ask you two standard deviation below the mean and above the mean so let's say for example in this question i know exactly what you are saying or probably thinking why am i not writing what i'm saying here okay 
if if had they said two standard deviation above the mean this is what we're going to write here if they said two standard deviation this is one okay this is one standard deviation above the mean okay let's say for an example they said two standard deviation above the mean they are going to say mean is equals mean rather a uh, plus rather you're going to say just mean plus plus two uh, of those standard deviations above the mean okay so basically this is how you're going to deal with this one you're only going to times the standard deviation by two let's move to 9.2 9.2 i'm gonna move up here 1.2 okay 9.2 here is said the truck the truck shop owner was not able to sell all the loaves of bread delivered daily okay he calculated the the mean number of loaves sold over 18 days to be 20. calculate the number of loaves of bread which were not sold over the 18 days okay so now if let's say uh, our mean is 20 our mean is 22 rather okay so our mean is 22 so the total number of days was 18 so we know that the total number of a uh, bread of loaves bread was 396 so now they are saying that the truck shop has calculated the mean of loaves to be 20. so let's say now is 20 taking into account what was not sold so calculate the number of loaves which were not sold okay great stuff okay so now this is, is we are calculating the total on this one now you yeah, are calculating the total sale without okay so therefore it means now total not sold total not sold will be equals to 396 minus 360 which gives us a total number of 36 okay so total number of bread not sold would be 36 rather okay i hope you guys can see this i hope this is visible 360 there you go and then you've got this one here which is just 36 great stuff and that's how you would deal with question 1.1 uh, and 1.2 let's let's now move to question 1.3 okay here we go 1.3 uh, it was a box and wixer diagram it says the one of the two box whisker diagram drawn below represent the data given in the above table okay so we have got group a there is showing that uh, okay let me just uh, help you guys here is the minimum number here this is q1 which is the lower quartile this is the median q2 upper quartile which is q3 and then we've got the maximum you know this ones guys this is the five summary numbers i'm sure you did them in grade 10 or grade 11 if i'm not mistaken so now let's have a look at this one okay our mean our mean was uh, around our mean was around 22 so you would understand that uh, which one would represent our mean here okay we'll just have a look at that right now so i said which one of the box in whisker abdagam correctly represent the data given give the reason to your answer okay all right so so which of the data here that is given so let's have a look at this one very very carefully uh, before we can choose all right okay so the first thing that we can do here or the first thing that we can do here we can uh, look for q1 okay look for the position of q1 or we can look for the position of the median so basically so basically what you can do here you can come here and say look for q1 which is equals to 1 over 4 uh, n plus 1 okay what you have there you've got 1 over for which is going to be 18 plus 1 over that so we need to put this in our calculator to make sure that we get the right answers okay okay so it's going to give us here 
0.75 so we're going to come here and look at uh, the position of 4.75 in our data is what is 14 if you go back to the table have a look at the table and count from 1 to uh, 4.5 which is approximately 5 so the number there is 14 so here 14 which is gives us the q1 so definitely uh, the answer here which one best represent here is going to be the graph b graph b will best represent uh, this data then you can give uh, the reason or we can choose uh, something else but uh, you can go ahead and double check this one i have uh, randomly given the reason oh, i didn't number this correctly okay i have randomly given the reason uh, to say to say that um, it is uh, this option here the reason i would say is because the other reason is that the mean I said we must give it the mean is greater than the median therefore therefore data is skewed to the therefore the data is uh, skewed to the right okay those therefore the data is skewed to the right skewed to the right okay great stuff and that's how you would deal uh, with this one all right so moving right along and they said the uh, 1.3.2 they asking us determine uh, uh, whether the data describe if the data is uh, positively or negatively skewed comment on the skewness of uh, of this data that is given here all right so just to give and highlight on the skewness if the data is skewed to the right therefore is positively skewed if it's skewed to the left it is therefore negatively skewed all right so we can come here and say uh, we're gonna come here and say the possible positively skewed positively skewed or skewed to the right or we can say that it is skewed to the right to the right all right and that's how you deal with a question like this one please make sure that you stay tuned we will watch uh, the series and also the playlist on this one specifically this question one on statistics because it will also we will also going to show you how to use the calculator how to comment and also watch the video that we did long time ago here on this channel that shows how to deal with the statistics and also the lesson there as well and example for concept understanding all right so i'll see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question one november 2020 i am gustin mapala see you on the next upload